here we are in the planner aisle. Hey, have been looking for the new planners, and this is the second Hobby Lobby we've gone to. And they don't have them yet. <laughs> but they do have a lot of cute things on sale. These are happy notes. Be the light that helps others shine. I actually have this one already. I love it. I love anything floral. So those are cute. And then I had this really cute Squad Girls one. As well as this Faith one that has the metal discs on it, which I thought was kind of cool. And then they had a few sticker books um, on sale. And what else did we see? Oh, they also did have some accessory packs. Or, yeah, planner companion accessories, which I've never had before. Um, and this one, this one will be this one, but they had two others of these, so I might get one of these to do use as a giveaway. So they did have some awesome stuff on sale, but I was sad to find none of the new Happy Planner release. Alright, we are now at Craft Warehouse, which I mentioned online before and no one else had heard of it. So now I think it might just be an Oregon store or a West Coast store. But they have a lot of like specialized stuff that you wouldn't necessarily find in other craft stores. So I saw online that their Distress Oxide inks were buy one and get one free, which I thought was a good deal. So I wanted to see what colors they have. This is what I mean by they have different things. So like they have this whole Simple Stories collection. That's so beautiful. Cottage fields. Look at these die cuts. Oh my goodness. And I also, if you know me, you know I love washi tape. So pretty. Tape. And look at this really cute rainbow washi tape. It says it's for like baby stuff, but you could totally use it for lots of other things too. Little rainbow and the stars. I love all the colors. I also loved all these adorable stamp sets little birds and look at these really pretty girl stamp sets. These would be so neat to use in your Bible journaling. Then I love like the back of the head with the little messy bun, the messy top knot. So I'd never seen this brand before, Pickett Studios, Pickett Gen. Oh, and you know I love the girl holding coffee, but it could totally be hot chocolate too. <laughs> so, 
one thing I was going to show you guys um, were all of these Parkland disc bound planners and journals and it's like totally empty I feel kind of sad I was at a different Joann's and they had like they have micro ones they have their own discs that are beautiful they had their own sticky notes and pouches so and um, they also have this is like a half sheet and um, one of them was opened at <laughs> the other Joann's and it had a fairly um, simple layout inside that wasn't really decorative so they do have one <laughs> blue and one black and white floral I think that's so so beautiful but I'm super sad that <laughs> none of it's here because I was so excited to share it with you guys but you can kind of get a few peeks of it it looks like well, it appears the whole store is rather picked over. <laughs> this is like the Damask Club, Amy Tangerine, Paige Evans, One Canoe Two stuff. I guess it was all clearance, which would have been great to know. <laughs> so they have one set of wood buttons and one thing of rub-ons. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I really have never ever seen it this empty before. It's kind of weird. So they do have a ton of clearance stuff, which is kind of fun. They have um, some Parkland, a bunch of washi tape, some Heidi Swap planner stuff. So Juan was like, maybe this means they're going to get a bunch of new things. <laughs> so hopefully that's true, because right now this is a very sad, sad Joann's. They do have a bunch of these Journal Studio Travelish notebooks, which is kind of neat. They're on sale for nine bucks. So this is another line I wanted to share with you guys that's also super picked over. <laughs> it's their line of sustainable journaling stuff. So they have some really cool Traveler's Notebook covers, which is neat, and some felt pockets, and they did have these flowered These are sustainable journaling pens, which I thought was a really cool idea. I kinda wanna get one to try it. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then they also have inserts and stuff too. So I thought that was a really neat new line from American Craft. And they, did, they do have other Traveler's Notebook covers, but evidently not here. Oh, and here's the rest of the Park Lane disc stuff that was missing in the other area. <laughs> so they have all these really cute micro um, happy notes. Well, they're not happy notes, micro notebooks. I heard that Happy Planner isn't making this size anymore. So this is a really awesome option if you love micro planning. I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel here that I will link in the description box below of the micro planners I've used. So I'm excited that they're doing this since Happy Planner has stopped. And then I also loved their sticky notes. I love how neutral this their different lines are. So they kind of have this like black and white version and then this kind of neutral and then kind of a galaxy style. And um, so I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna open this, but we'll just kind of look through it. It's neat because the or the dividers are on their own, which is something I don't really like about happy planners. And they have the monthly and then the weekly layout. So pretty plain, which is really awesome if you are into a more kind of minimalist <laughs> vibe with your planning and you can kind of decorate it with whatever stickers you want so really really cool oh these are the other things that i thought were awesome there are these accessory kits and so they have all this stuff they have stickers and dividers 
tabs, sticky notes, a couple folders, a pouch, um, these adorable little tiny paper clips. So this is just super, super neat that more people are coming out with disc planners. And then this is the Maggie Holmes day-to-day -day disc planners. This is not the first year they've had these. This is the second year, I think. And so they now have a larger size, which is on the bottom. And those are, I think, just plain journals. And then these are their disc planners. And I love flowers and I love anything Maggie Holmes. <laughs> So I think these are super beautiful. And they also have these discs, and I have purchased these sparkly discs. Um, I was gonna use them on a Christmas uh, junk journal, but I ended up, um, I, got, I was gifted a Christmas junk journal. But I really love the colors of these, and these are like, beautiful pink sparkles. Look how pretty that is, I love that. And I can't remember if I showed you, these are the, the Park Lane discs, also come in really pretty colors. So some really neat new products that we're seeing out from other companies, and I think that's kind of cool that um, disc bound planners are expanding beyond just happy planner, that's kind of fun. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Comment below and let me know what do you think about these new disc bound planners. Do you like them? Would you get them? Do you like the fact that the dividers aren't um, aren't don't have the calendar on the back like Happy Planner does? I'd love to hear your thoughts. We're waiting to check out, and what did we find? Did we find yeah, anything? A bunch of stuff. I can't even hold up. It's a bunch of things. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, it's been so fun. Okay, and he told me, you told me it was okay. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I was like, I, yes, feel, I, I feel like we're getting a lot, and he was like, it's fine. Oh, she doesn't do that very often, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, we are back home, and I wanted to share kind of a cool story with you guys that happened when we were at Hobby Lobby, and then I'm going to share my five favorite things that we picked up. So the story I wanted to share is about my purse. And if you have been around here for any length of time, you know that I love New Hope Girls. New Hope is a safe house and a workshop and a ministry in the Dominican Republic that's very dear to my heart. 10% um, of the profits from Creative Faith & Co. actually go back to New Hope, which is really cool. So when you are purchasing from Creative Faith, you're also supporting New Hope. And so this is a bag that um, Joy, the founder, gave me. I love it. It's the mini hobo. <laughs> and I will link New Hope um, Girls in the description box below their website. So if you want to pick up a bag or a pouch or a backpack, they have so many cute things, a t-shirt. Um, so anyways, I carried around with me and when we were at Hobby Lobby, the lady who was a cashier, she was like, oh my gosh, I love your bag. And so I got to share about New Hope with her and I, um, I told her about how it's a ministry in the Dominican Republic and how she could go to New Hope um, in kind of Google and find them and purchase one for herself and how it's a way for women there to have an honorable job and support their families in a good way. And so it was just really neat to be able to share about New Hope that God kind of opened that door while we were shopping today. So I thought that was a really fun story and wanted to share it with you guys. 
So, are you ready for, I decided, this, this is the bag with all this stuff, but I thought it would be um, fun instead to sh of sharing my whole entire thing that I got, because some of them are gifts, and some of them are gonna be for an upcoming giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Um, I thought instead I would share my five favorite things that we picked up on our shopping trip, and so it was really kind of fun to, and kind of hard to pick five things. So I kind of have them in categories. So the first thing that I'm really excited about are the Distress Oxide inks. And so it was buy one, get one free. So we picked up four of them. The one that I've had my eye on for the longest time is Victorian Velvet. It's a really pretty light purple color. And then I got Bundled Sage because I thought this would be great with the Take Root Devotion book. So I will link um, the Take Root Devotion book on Amazon and the blog post where you guys can find all the all the things related to Take Root. It's all about plants in the Bible and, and journaling about plants. And so I thought this green would be great for that. And then I picked up a color that I... It was kind of outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun for summer. And I think it's good to push ourselves and work with different craft supplies and color schemes. So it's called Dried Marigold. So that'll be fun to play around with. And then last I got Tea Dye um, because I love coffee and tea and hot chocolate. I have lots of mug printables in my Etsy shop. I will link a couple of them in the description box below. Um, so I thought this would be cool to use with those. So item number one was inks. All right, the next thing that I grabbed that we're, I'm really excited about is this Happy Planner Half Sheets. And I love the inside. You can kind of see it. It is pink with white stripes. And so I'm gonna, can you see it, love? <laughs> My cameraman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip the cover around and I am going to use this for my Spanish Bible journaling printables and so I thought that would be something fun to do. I have another one that is with my faith, uh, my printables that are in English and so I thought it would be neat to make a Spanish version. So stay tuned for an upcoming YouTube video. I know I haven't done very many Spanish videos recently um, but that is coming. So that was item number two. Um, and this was from Hobby Lobby and the inks were from Craft Warehouse. Another thing from Craft Warehouse that I'm really excited about is this stamp set. So Juan thought this was really cool too. Again, I thought the kind of trees and fern and outside images or some bugs and stuff, little mushroom. I thought this would be really great with the take root um, kit as well and kind of as we're coming up with summer and spring break and things like that, I thought these would be really fun stamps to use. All right, next we have our Joanne stuff. So one of the things from Joanne, this was um, one of the Journal Studio Traveler's Notebooks. It was $9 and it comes with two inserts inside. Um, and I love storing my creative faith uh, devotion books in this. I am still working through a handful of them and so I thought the pink would go really well with the Extravagant Love devotion book that I have. I'll link that on Amazon in the description box below. And then I also have new stickers, new vinyl stickers coming in my Etsy shop. Um, I will link the vinyl stickers section in my Etsy shop in the description box because I thought it'd be really cool to put one of my new stickers here on the front. So stay tuned for some new vinyl stickers. I'm really excited about them. They're perfect for spring and will color coordinate really well. So I am very excited about the Traveler's Notebook. And then last but not least, I'm linking all of these in the last number five, is I'm excited for new sticker books. So um, Joanne's had buy two, get one free. And so I got Indigo, which is a new one. And I got the Pressed Florals Accessory Book. I love the accessory books. They're really cool because they come with um, sticky notes on this side, and this is a notepad, and then stickers on this side. And so I think that's really neat. I 
love making to-do lists in my planner. <laughs> love it, love it, love it a lot. And so I'm really excited to use this. And then I also thought that the pressed flowers would be neat to use with tape group. And then the indigo um, has a lot of, guess what, blue in it. <laughs> and I loved these blue circles. It had a lot of like blue boxes. And I thought this would be really good for my Jonah devotion book and my Gospel of Light devotion book, which is all about light and darkness, and blue kind of represents darkness. I loved these ones. I loved these ones. These are perfect for writing out a Bible verse or a prayer. So I really, really liked this one. And I will link my Jonah devotion book on Amazon as well as the Gospel of Light if you guys want to check those two devotion books out. And then the last sticker book I got isn't new, but it's one that I've been kind of having my eye on. It's wild styled. And um, kind of my favorite stickers to use are quote stickers. And then I love boxes. I use those in my creative faith planner a lot um, for writing out like things that are happening on the weekend. Like these boxes are so, so perfect. And um, I also, I'm like, those are really perfect too. And then I love to do headers because I make to do lists a ton. And then I love quotes as well. And I love, look at all those to do lists I can make. Yay! <laughs> um, and I love quote stickers. Just something that's like inspiring and encouraging. Like that one says, Have a beautiful day. Don't stress, do your best, forget the rest. I need that on like every week of my planner. I love these top three. And then at the beginning, I love these quotes. Choose joy today. And then there were some more quote stickers at the beginning. And so this isn't a new sticker book at all, but I really, I was flipping through it because it was buy two, get one free. So I had to get a third one, of course. <laughs> But I just really liked all the quotes in here. And so I think um, this will be a really fun one too. So those are my five favorite things that we picked up from um, Hobby Lobby, Craft Warehouse, and Joanne's. We were going to go to Michael's too, but um, we ran out of time. <laughs> so stay tuned for some upcoming YouTube videos, sharing um, some more of the goodies that I got as I set up. Um, a new faith happy planner that I'm really excited about. I'll also show you guys a setup of um, my Spanish uh, devotion printables, which I'm excited about. So lots of fun stuff ahead. I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment below what was your favorite thing that um, I saw at the store that I showed in the video or that I picked up that you saw. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. And I also have a playlist um, titled like craft supply hauls. And so if you wanna see some more hauls um, throughout the years on my YouTube channel that I've done, be sure to check out that playlist. And thank you for watching and thank you for um, supporting Creative Faith and I'll see you guys next time.